section 3.2 parallel lines and transversals. In this section we have some exciting new postulates and theorems. So in here we're going to look at two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Thus we'll have L and M such that L is parallel to M and these lines are going to be cut by transversal T. Our postulate for this section is the corresponding angles postulate. And this tells me that if I have two parallel, li parallel lines cut by a transversal, then the pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. So this angle will be congruent to this one. Also, we have it congruent to this one by vertical angles, meaning that this is also congruent. We then have this angle congruent to this one, which is congruent to this one by vertical angles, and is congruent to that one. So lots of congruent angles going on here. In class, we'll talk more explicitly about the theorems for this section, theorems 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3. But what these theorems and what the postulate we just learned tells us is outlined in the table on your screen. If we have two parallel lines, cut by a transversal, first of all, corresponding angles are congruent. We know that by postulate 15. Then, we also know that alternate interior angles are congruent. This means that alternate exterior angles are also congruent. And finally, consecutive interior angles are, are supplementary. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 in this diagram equals 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and dive right into an example. In example 1, you are given that the measure of angle 4 is 110 degrees. Using this knowledge and the parallel lines as indicated in your diagram, find all the other angle measures. Go ahead, do that now, pause the video, resume when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, angles 1 and 4 are vertical angles, meaning they're congruent, so angle 1 is also 110 degrees. Angle 1 corresponds with angle 9, so that's 110 degrees. And it also corresponds to angle 5. Corresponding angles are congruent, so those are also 110 degrees. Furthermore, 5 is vertical of 8, and 9 is vertical of 12. Then we also see that 5 corresponds with angle 13, so those are congruent. And 13 and 16 are vertical angles. Now, let's look at angle 2. Me angles 1 and angle 2 make up a linear pair, meaning that angles 1 and 2 are supplementary, and so the measure of angle 2 must be 70 degrees. Since 2 and 3 are vertical angles, then 3 is also 70 deg degrees. We can double check right now realizing that 3 and 5 are consecutive interior angles and so should be supplementary. Looking at their numbers, we have 110 and 70 degrees. They add up to 180, they are supplementary. We see that 3 corresponds with 7 and 7 is vertical of 6. Also 6 corresponds with 14, 7 corresponds with 15, and 14 and 15 are vertical, so they should be congruent. Lastly, 2 corresponds with 10, which is vertical of 11. Hopefully you got all those right. If so, feel free to move on to example 2. In example 2, we want to find the values of x and y. This one's a little trickier, so take your time. And when you're ready to see the solution, go on to the next video.